Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with another Apopolo episode, and this is another Brick Link order. So this order only has four parts, or four lots, which is awesome. Nice small order. So it's not going to take very long to film. So the first one is a gum. First item is a gumball machine, but because it's, all, it's somewhere else, I'll get that last. The next item is lot one, small one one three. So we hope it's here, and here it is because some, as you can see, some lots are in this bucket. So it's going to go to the side. One one three, perfect. Next is one thirty four, oh, and it looks like it's here too. Because it's just a small lot, I'm just going to hold the camera today. And the final lot is small 302. 302, and it's here too. That's awesome. I'm blocking the light. So because there's only one in front of it, I'll just put that there. So there, there, we have the three different lots. We take the camera back over here to my desk. Set that down, and one gumball machine. And that, it doesn't have a home yet. So they're just over here in this pick a brick cup. Gotta just find one gumball machine. Okay, so here we have a gumball machine. So we'll just come back over here and we'll get ready to pack the order. Should be a nice small order, so now I'll just dump everything out and do my cut on the cord. The tripod is oh, sorry, the tripod's on one end and my light stands on the other. So we'll start one gumball machine. And there's three last, so always gotta make sure you have the proper quantity. In order to get this to ship properly, I have to take this little triangle off. So the buyer just puts that back on whenever it comes to their location. But that's in order to get it to ship. So one gumball machine, two red leaves. Because it's just a really small order, I'm just setting everything up. Two bunnies, and I only have two, so they're sold. And then four leaves, perfect. There's four leaves, and I'll just get a bag, and you really don't need to see this, but I will take the camera off the tripod just to show you me getting the bag. Might as well get a bubble mailer right while I'm here. I don't need a small bag, so I'll just get the small bag bin. on the medium, so I'll just, oh there, perfect, that should be in the medium actually. Set that on the floor there. Look at that. We can get the piece of tape in the right spot. So normally I'd stop the camera and speed this up, but because there's not even very much to show, I'll just show the whole process. One gumball machine. One order. Thank you note. You don't see this, but it's just getting in the same drawer. I've always gotten it out of. So what's the order number? And because I've already forgot to do it again, I gotta check my computer. Four seven zero oh, two eight eight eight. So that's cool. I'll go look for my tape now because I'm not sure where I put it and I'll come back to you. Now I found my tape, so that's awesome. More messed up ends, got to cut that off. I used to put this smack in the middle of every order. 
but then I didn't need to, or I was, the post office, they advised me not to because they had nowhere for the custom orders, or like the customs forms, to go because this is on the back of the package in the center, so my thing smacked in the center, they said they can't, I can't do that, and so I didn't. But I used to put it there, so that's why you're wondering. Some packages don't need customs forms, but others do, and they, I don't really know which ones do and which ones don't, so I just let the post office decide when I get there. So now we just got to put the um, label on, and then this order's ready to go. I'm not quite sure how much shipping is going to be. I haven't looked yet. So I'll just, this is how I estimate shipping costs. I'll show you that because some of you want to know. For in Canada, we have a two centimeter rule, so if it doesn't fit through this slot, then it's not, it's a packet, not an oversized letter. So does it fit through? So yes, it does. So we know that package is an oversized letter and it's going to Australia. So we'll come over here and I have the sheet here, International 590. It should be. 590 plus tax. That's cool. I'll let you watch me send an invoice to the buyer right now. Might as well. So shipping is 590. So the changes in the total is 1612. 16 decimal 12 times decimal 13 is 209. That just seems a little high. There we go. So thank you for watching this video by BrickLover18, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.